Hey everyone, welcome to our third installment of Latin Street Foods. Today we're highlighting the country of Brazil with a dish that has West African roots. Come on, let's get started. About to have a little taste of what you're missing But if you cannot stand the heat, get out the kitchen Full of flavor, flavorful, save your tools Te vamos a enseñar unas recetas del baúl Slice, dice, chop, nice spice Hot or mild, we got it, you just named the style One in a meal, culinary skills Prestigioso, todo queda sabroso Today's recipe is inspired by the Netflix documentary, Street Foods of Latin America. Today we're making a Brazilian street food from the state of Bahia and more specifically the city of Salvador, where you can find these black eyed pea fritters called acarajé. And this dish was brought over from West Africa, where some people actually call it the African falafel. Now there are two ways that you can go about making acarajé, the long version and then a short version. I tried to use canned black eyed peas. The problem was is that the beans in the can are already cooked and so you don't get that same texture, the light the airiness that is quintessential for acarajé. This video, I wanted to do the original version. Let's get into it. So the main ingredient in acarajé is black eyed peas. So we're gonna take the black eyed peas and we're going to pour it into this food processor. We're just going to break the black eyed pea up. We don't want it to turn into a powder, but we just want to remove the skin. And so now our black eyed peas are broken up. And we're going to rinse this. And then as I'm washing, the skin from the black eyed pea is coming up. So the water is much more clearer. Most of the skins have been removed. I'm just going to soak this overnight and the rest of that skin is going to rise to the surface. So the black eyed peas have soaked overnight and I removed the remainder of the skins, so only the pea remains. Pour the peas into a food processor or blender, then pulse until coarse. <laughs> then process until smooth. Pour mixture into a bowl and mix to incorporate air, making the pea mixture light and fluffy. Add salt to taste. Now we're ready to fry the acarajé using a special ingredient. One of the signature items that makes this acarajé so unique is dende oil, or what they call palm oil. And this dende oil, or this palm oil, is what gives the acarajé that golden, orangey, reddish exterior. And it has a flavor that is unique, unlike any other oil. Heat the dende oil to 320 or 325 degrees and drop spoonfuls of the pea mixture into the oil. As soon as you drop them, they begin to float because of the lightness of the batter. Flip them over and cook until golden and crispy. Now let's make a quick filling for the acarajé. Now let's assemble. Cut a horizontal slit in the middle of the acarajé. Then fill it with the shrimp paste. Now taste for yourself why these black eyed pea fritters are such a popular Brazilian street food.
Thanks for watching. If you really like this video, smash that like button and click to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all new content. And remember, food can look good, but if it doesn't taste good, then your cooking is in vain. So make it sabroso.